What's up guys? Um, I'm Bjorn. So today we're going to be checking out some scopes. So we're going to have a look at the BSA. Oh, upside down. It's the BSA Classic. It's more of a, you know, cheaper rifle scope. But I've heard great things about them. And we're going to check out the, well, it's attached to the gun, but the Bushnell as well. This is a Western Autos um, Revelation 22LR. This is like an antique bolt action 22LR. Um, this thing is awesome. It's very, very precise, very accurate, especially at 125 yards. 125 yards, it'll hit anything dead on target no matter if there's a little bit of wind or not um, I did a video before of that but kind of couldn't get really the angles I wanted to because one of my damn cameras died and it screwed my whole my whole video up for that day anyways well this is a single shot um, 22 basically every time every time you fire you have to load one right in there but yeah so stay tuned we're going to take this to a range casco scope guide these things are awesome um let me tell you a little bit about these if you've never used these before, they're awesome. If you, especially if you don't feel like um, if you don't feel like you know wasting any ammo, shooting, trying to sight your gun, and you're at home, you don't feel like going anywhere. You know, all you gotta do, you could do this in your house. You can sight your scope in your house. But basically, what you do is like say, for instance, like the one on this Revelation is 40 millimeter, or no, yeah, it is 40 millimeter. Um, so you'll take this, put this on over top scope here. What it has is a little, little tiny hole in there. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but a little tiny hole. And when you do that, you take your bore stud and your trusty little guide. So you you stick that, bam, stick it in there, oh yeah, and um, you stick this in the bore, actually, bam, like so, and um, you put this, you know, have this on the end, and you just aim it at light. And basically what it is, it'll take your recticles, your crosshairs, and it'll line up, you'll be able to see that grid clear, and you'll be able to line up the crosshairs and zero in your scope on that grid. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, we're going to go and um, let off a couple rounds, and uh, yeah, I'll get back with you. Stay tuned. Alright, what's up? We are going down the street to um, Public Lands, BLM, and um, you, know, you, you can shoot there. Uh, so we're not going all the way down, you know, 30 miles away to the range. Really don't feel like driving that far. So, yeah, we're going to go right down the street here. Freaking gorgeous. It's like we're up on 
like this basin pretty much and it overlooks like a lot of shit. <coughs> I'm out here on the my little makeshift range. I have a um, I have a target about exactly a hundred yards ahead of me. And what we're doing today is we're going to test out these scopes. So right now on on the Revelation 22 LR, I have a Bushnell um, optical zoom scope, and I have a BSA classic which are these are both more of the cheaper versions of their brands but um, basically what I want to do is just you know see which one is better and right now I can already tell you that I like the Bushnell more because it has the zoom on it which this does not but uh yeah we're gonna see what's up here can't, you won't be able to really see the target on the GoPro here, but, um, you know, yeah. All right, so we got the Bushnell scope on the Revelation 22 LR, which is a beautiful, here, let me get closer. It's a beautiful old school rifle, bolt action. Oh. Uh, all right. So, let's do this. Target at 100 yards. That was a miss. Alright. Let's see if we can get our target. Oh, right above it. Gotta bring this down just a tad bit. Two inch, three inch. Bring it down three inches. Now with every click on these scopes equals, this is a MOA scope, so every click is about a quarter inch um, of a hundred yards. Missed that one. Let's go one more because we might need to go up a little bit. Nope. Yep, go up just a tad bit. So two clicks about an inch up or a half inch up. Let's see. Needs to go another half inch up. Uh, I think we hit it. All right, so we got one round in the chamber, and I'm aiming down. 100 yards to our target. Yep, and that's a hit. I don't know if you heard that. 
Alright. Yep, that's another hit. All right, so what I can say about this Bushnell scope, get off here, Cricket. All right, we got Crickets all over the place here. It's ridiculous. All right, it's just this. So what I can say about the Bushnell scope is that it's a really good scope. Uh, it's very clear, has some very visible crosshairs, um, it's, you know, it's really easy to sight in, and, uh, the only thing that I have an issue with is the zoom on it right here. It's kind of hard to twist that. I don't know if that is, uh, that didn't really do anything. Let's go ahead and tighten that back up. But it's kind of hard to twist the zoom here. It's the only thing I don't like about it. Other than that, it's a you know it's a great scope, um, perfect for hunting, perfect for a 22. I'd say I'd like to put this on a 308. Yeah, I really like the Bushnell. Guys, I decided I wanted to try one more thing. I have a um, steel target that I forgot was in the car, and I want to shoot it. What the fuck is that? Let's try this one more time. Oh, still a little bit low. Yep, there it is. Let's go one more round. Yep, there it is. She's on. Alright, one more round. Going five, about five inches up. Nope, we're going a little too high. One, two, one, two, three. Try this again. One more. Waiting for that ding. That's how you know I hit it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> And the whole target fell down. Well, we got to cut this video short because I ended up um, having a little malfunction with the rifle, which I'm going to take back to the house and fix. Um, but we did the full review on the Bushnell, which is this one. But we haven't finished the full review on the BSA, which I'm going to get back with you later on on that. Probably use a different 22 rifle. All in all, I can definitely say the the Bushnell optical zoom um, it's it's really good really good scope um, it's really reliable um, really easy to sight um, 
you know, I didn't really go through that much ammo to sight it right. Well, to zero it in, zero it in, excuse me. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, so in a couple weeks, I'm. This company is sending me some stuff to test out for them. I'm not going to say who it is yet because that's a surprise. Um, but they seem. I haven't tried any of their products before, but uh, they, me and them, has been talking a lot. I, and their uh, their firearm optics are. They seem pretty awesome, pretty legit. Uh, the specs on them are pretty awesome. So um, I'm gonna test out their holographic red dot sight on the uh, the Ruger SR556, and yeah, that's gonna be the next episode. You know, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to do the the review for the BSA, but on the bright side, we got to shoot a little bit today, which is always awesome. I never complain. So hopefully next time, um, I'm going to be able to do the review on the BSA, and then after that, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to do a review on the Nikon P223 AR optic scope, which that scope is awesome, but I really, you know, don't take my word for it, let me show you, um, as awesome optical zoom, uh, zooms in, I think about 20, 20 times, I believe, I'm not sure, I can't remember, I don't have it in front of me, so I can't really look at it, but the thing is awesome, and then I'm going to do a, um, then I got another one coming up, which I'm super excited for, um, I'm going to be doing the review of the, the stock, all stock, I'm taking all the attachments off of it, um, and putting everything that was stock on, back on it, the way it comes, like if you were to go to the store and purchase it as is, the Ruger SR556, and what we're going to do is blow up some Tannerite, and uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about that. So, sorry we couldn't finish the whole, the whole thing today, just, you know, bear with me, I'm, I was working with an old gun, developed a little issue, it was my grandpa's gun, it was my grandpa's gun, well, I appreciate you guys watching my stuff, and it would be awesome if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it, share it, and comment and um you guys got any ideas and stuff i'm always open to whatever you know it would be awesome to have anyways i appreciate you guys for joining us um you know just subscribe to the channel 